you want to be one of the cool guys, buy my merch. Hey guys, it's getting close to 3 a.m. Felix the Beach on the classic arm bike. Do legs and arms, two in one. Cardio, extreme. I'd like to thank the council for putting this great piece of equipment in there for my fight camp. It's really fucking helpful. Thanks to the boys at the UFC. 3 a.m. is my favorite time. But thank God for the arm bike. <laughs> Getting the work in, guys, whatever it takes. <laughs> Bonds are still. Do that for about six hours, you're gonna be ripped to fuck. Get down here to Felix Though Gym, the Felix Though Activity Park. Go on, get home. Three in the morning, boys, go to bed. Peek in my body for these excellent state of the art. Gym equipment, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna work on my mind. To be fair, they got all this equipment, but I think the rocks would be better. If you hit the rocks, you could just throw some rocks about. Try and get yourself all the way through there. Ugh. You lock horns, you drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if you're strong enough, you'll be able to take these rocks out of the ground. It's gone free, so I'm gonna go somewhere else. Maybe see some beer. Do some donuts in my car. Actually, I don't do donuts in the Persia. We give the Persia respect. Come on, let's sweat. Let's do it, Miss Fishy. Ooh. A very popular, trendy thing that's been going on these past few years is heat acclimation. Basically, you just do a bath, drop a bit of weight, rehydrate, or a sauna, weigh yourself before and after, rehydrate, do it through the camp, make it easier to sweat. Usually I'd like to be in the sauna at the spa, but the spa shuts at 10, and when we're adjusting for 3am fight time, I'm doing my training sessions later, so then I can't use the spa at 10am, 10pm, because then I have to train after, you don't want to go to the sauna and then go training, because that's not good. I don't usually wear my swimming shorts in my bath. The cat is concerned she's doing lifeguard duty. It's nice to have her have my back. So yeah, just doing like 30 minutes of salt bath. Not too crazy. And then when we come to the cup, my body should be more acclimatized. I never really minded the uh, saunas or anything like that. I've always gone to the sauna for like recovery and all that stuff. So I don't mind. My only qualm of having a bath, I mean this is so fucking expensive. You have a couple of baths a week, you know, you bills through the roof. What's his name? Keir Starmer kicks in the door and tells you to chill out. Yeah, just nice 25, 30 minutes in here. Cold showers to sort of sort of body out after. Like I said, I don't usually wear my, my swimming shorts, my fish shorts. I'll probably keep my, my pecker off the YouTube. However, I think it would garner some more views. And as a YouTuber, that's what we're always looking for. We're looking for more views. I'm not very good at the clickbait stuff. I'm trying to keep it real. Maybe I need to get some clickbait on there. Lure you in. Something that's going to go viral. Arnold's pecker on YouTube. Arnold cuts weight naked. And it's good because then you could think, oh, maybe Schwarzenegger's doing a sauna or something butt naked. And people want to see... There's a lot of perverts out there. Maybe they want to see Schwarzenegger's Schroofwaffle. Whatever you call it in German. If you've got any good clickbait ideas, let me know. Or just watch the videos and share it to your friends. Top tip. Try your face so you know you're sweating. Like, don't put your face in. Don't put your hair in. You need to know a sweat. Obviously, when you're not cutting weight, who cares? But like, if your goal is to monitor how much you're sweating, keep your face out. Keep a towel down your face. You know that it starts sweating again. You know you're still sweating. Also, that's air, by the way. That is air. That is. Oh, the duck's going to my groin. There's your clickbait right there. For you perverts. I'm just trying to keep it around 108. I've stole the meat from Oma. It's now the meat from Oma. It's not too hot. My missus baths at like 120, I think. Mentalist. She comes out and says, Oh, I feel dizzy, I've got a headache. Like, what do you reckon? Why do you think? And I feel like this is probably the same thing as like every couple. 
they go in there like wife shower or something and it's literally like lava or water pouring out and then they come out red like a lobster and like my head hurts but what do you think? you haven't drunk water in a week and you've just had a 300 degree shower of course you've been in a bath for one hour at 200 fucking Fahrenheit 13 minutes Did anyone else used to make tsunamis in the bathtub where you like rock up and down and all the water would go everywhere and your mum would come in really pissed off? I used to do that. It was fun. You would just go like, oh, rock all the way down this and you know, then the water would go, it should be fuming. Much like my missus is with me now when I have a bath and there's water everywhere. That's the thing with life, it comes full circle. When the water runs out, I'm gonna have a little cold shower. Just sort of cool my body down a bit. The shower isn't as cold as I would like it to be. It's cold, but it ain't like cold. Sunday, or well, Monday morning at three, about the time I'm fighting. Um, I don't have a session booked in, so I'll just come down to the seafront and do a little bit of shadow boxing. I'm move around at this time, really. I don't think it's fully necessary, but just for my head to be active. It's nice. I like to be in nature. Nature. Maybe we'll take a dip in the sea at some point. Got the classic blokes out fishing. I think they hate their wives, so they come out all night and fish in the North Sea. I don't get it, but whatever. So I'll just do a few jogs, shadow box a little bit, warm up. Free burn apples. Yeah, I was thinking about going in the sea. It ain't too nice. And these guys are fishing. And I've seen them little rocky old things. Them little sharks, creepy looking things they get. I kind of fucking don't want to get a bit more on, to be honest. Yeah, so just finished doing some work down the seafront. This the camp's done, pretty much. Just got to make weight now. But just for my mind. The fun thing with this three in the morning shit, like all the jokes aside, I love the seafront. I love being by the sea. It's like this is where I grew up, coming down here three in the morning and back in the day maybe I was three in the morning off my face. But yeah, it's nice to be down here, visualizing, uh, breathing, relaxing, being in the sea. Not now, because I'm scared of the dark. I'm scared of the sea at dark. But yeah, it's nice, you know, just come here. 3am, go for my walk, go for a run, shadow box a little bit. There's no one around, so no one's looking at me like I'm crazy. That's fun. There's a couple guys fishing down there, but I think they were drunk or fucking 10% tisky or whatever it is. So that's all good. It is nice not being too hippy dippy, but it is nice to decompress and unload at the end of the day. Do your little training and just get your breath work in by the sea. It sounds quite hippy dippy. But yeah, thank you guys for watching these camp vlogs. Might get another one out, I don't know. This might be the last one. But I appreciate your support, everyone that is has been following us on this journey. Everyone that's been staying up late with us. Everyone that's gonna be staying up late with us at 3am for the fights. Appreciate you. Everyone that's bought merch. Everyone that's waiting for that paycheck to buy some more merch. Like, it means a lot, honestly. It really... I know I harp on about it and I plug it, but like, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's all me, you know, it's me and my missus running this thing, so it's no big corporation, it's us. And also I'd like to shout out Silverback, my sponsors, they really support us, more in the strength world, trying to break into the sort of mixed martial arts, and uh, you know, always having them on board, more like an understanding brand, really cool, the athletes. That's awesome, so yeah, support us. Thanks everyone for watching. It's 1 a.m. here, Tuesday morning technically, going into fight week. Weirdly, everything's shifted back. So it's Tuesday now, but I'm fighting Sunday morning. Appreciate everyone watching throughout the camp. It's been, it's been fun. Like I'm glad to get some content out to everyone every week. Usually in camp, I kind of get off, off book and the content disappears and then I try and build the YouTube back after the fight. But I feel 
keeping it going throughout the camp has been good. Bit of training here and there, a bit of like what's going on day to day, so that's fun. Appreciate everyone that's bought all my merch as well. Really cool to see people buying stuff around the world as well, like kind of humbling in a way. To see like guys in Australia supporting, guys in America, guys like, someone bought a shirt once in the Yukon, which is insane. Coming from like Trimley St. Martin, someone in the Yukon is buying one of our shirts. If you're watching this, appreciate that. Currently got a buy one, get one 40% off on the website. The code is UFC304, obviously it's fitting for fight month. Yeah, my nutritionist, Jay, I think he might have lost his mind. So it's Tuesday now and Saturday, Sunday, Monday. He had me carb loading. I've been eating Nando's, I've been eating pancakes, I've been eating carbs. I've been eating lots of carbs, lots of veggies, lots of carbs. And I'm like, are you sure I can eat this much? And he's just like, yeah, whatever, man, you're good. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. So he's pretty chilled out about it. He's relaxed, so maybe I should be as chilled as he is. I'm feeling good. We're eating great. Hopefully tomorrow when he calls me to tell me what I'm having for breakfast, it isn't an egg. Hopefully it's still pancakes with a load of syrup over them. A bit dubious of that, but we'll, we shall see. And also, once the fight's done, I'm going on holiday, I'm going to take a couple of weeks. We're going to have a week at home. I've just been into Tesco, I was walking around, seeing what I could eat. And I see they've got like a summer collection on the meal deals. So a lot of those I need to go in there and have a go at. Because when I'm in camp, I don't think people tend to believe I don't live like that. Like, that's not how I live on the normal. I didn't even know they had a summer edition. I was looking earlier, there's like the pesto chicken sandwich. There was like, there was the jerk chicken sandwich. There was another one. Yeah, the Greek one. Oh man, I've been missing out. I don't even go in the meal deal section and look at it when I'm in camp. So I've been missing out on all these, these great sandwiches. I'm probably next week after the fight's done, they'll be fucking out of the shop and I'll have to go back to the same old shit. But they look very good. And for £3.40, I'm willing to go in there and spend my money. I'm willing to go in there, sample it, review it, give it to you guys, let you know what we think. I mean, you've probably all had it already. You guys, it's all summer. You guys have been enjoying the meal deals. You've been out there. You know what? I'm fucking behind. So that's shit. Obviously, then we're going in. So I'm going on a road trip. Lots of food reviews. Lots of inaccurate history of places like France. A little bit of Switzerland about how they just discovered bicycles. Everyone should know that fact that they only just discovered bicycles in 2014. Crazy fact, but it is true. The Italians only eat pasta because that's all they knew how to grow. It's insane. Pizza was American. It's a crazy fact, but it's, it's true. Domino's was the original pizza. But yeah, so more of these facts come when we're on that road trip and we'll uh, get that on the channel. Join the almighty movement. Be one of the cool guys. Whatever else you want. If you're bald, get a bucket hat. Don't burn your head. I know there is the occasional very sunny day in England, but you might also be from somewhere where it's always sunny. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks for supporting, guys. It means a lot. Get some.